Quebrada de las Conchas, a gallery of shapes and colors. The Natural Reserve Quebrada de las Conchas is located south of the province of Salta and covers an area of great natural beauty with striking reddish rocks and a variety of landforms. All along the Quebrada and within the reserve flows Las Conchas River, where the trace of the National Route 68 can be seen. This route joins Cafayate with the city of Salta. On its way, one can appreciate the unique geology of the north of Argentina. From the old railroad station of Alemania to Cafayate, there is a journey to interpret the geological processes that took place in the area and led to the configuration of the landscape today. At kilometer 84th of Route 68, the geological sequence shows a gap of almost 20 million years without a record, indicating that during that time the region was exposed to an intense erosion. The effect of erosion can be recognized by the presence of red oxides and decoloration of the rocks that shows that the sediments were exposed for a long time to the action of rain and sunshine. Going southwards at Las Abritas, we find the Sinclinal de las Ranas, a fall structure so named for the number of fossil frogs found in the sediments. Interbedded with the red layers, there are dark gray basalts. The layers of the fossils are brownish, in contrast with the red and gray of the rest of the sequence. Between the Quebradas of Las Curtiembres and Tres Cruces, it can be observed Las Conchas Fault, which represents the expansion of the Earth during the Cretaceous period, process described with the name of rifting, which gave rise to the formation of the basins in which sedimentary units were deposited. On the same section, the Cañón de la Garganta del Diablo and the Amphiteatro are located. Passing Cerro El Sorrito, across a large fault, you reach the mouth of the Quebrada La Gesera. Here, the colors go from deep red to reddish brown and yellow in parts. The latter refer to the bottom sediments of ancient lakes developed in the tertiary period, where remains of fish fossils can be found. Following the route, for several kilometers, appear again the red sandy strata, which correspond to the end of the Cretaceous period, and that shows landforms that call the visitor's imagination. Among the most known are the Obelisco and Los Castillos. The southest part of the Quebrada corresponds to the Valley of La Punilla, which becomes narrower until the Pasaje del Angosto and the Cerro Negro. The Cerro is composed of very old rocks from about 500 million years ago, which form the substrate of the sedimentary rocks from the Cretaceous period. Arriving at Cafayate, the confluence of the Calchaquí and Santa Maria rivers gives rise 
to the birth of Las Conchas River. A landscape of sand dunes and vineyards completes the attractiveness of the region, which is one of the most visited tourist circuits of the country. Argentina's Geological and Mining Service, CEGEMAR, develops a specific mission, the spreading of the geological knowledge to the community as a basis for the understanding of the history of the Earth, the protection of natural habitats, the distribution of geological resources and their availability, and many other issues that come from the knowledge of our natural environment and that make up our geological heritage.